I mean, this is the entrance to the uh, monastic centre. Uh -huh. uh, what is it? No, this was the entrance, so it used to be a place up top. Now, my theory is that when you came in here, they took the swords off you and they stuck them upstairs because you're not allowed in what? here with weapons. This is the, the chairman stone, they call it. You can see the cross, it's incised into this uh, schist. Uh, so, here is where you were given sanctuary. And as we walk up in the main buildings there, we'll pause. And there we have it, the tower. We'll get closer to it. Okay, right, so there's the I've forgotten the name yet. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I think it's the tallest one. It's the one that's intact. The top did get hit by lightning and was restored by I think it was Oscar Wilde's dad. And, uh, you can see the doorways up here. A lot of nonsense about this from tour guides. You can see that round tower they say, 12 feet above to stop people pillaging. My arse. Listen, the Vikings wouldn't come all the way over here from Norway and let this stop them. Did I chop four trees down, made a tripod and made a battering ram. It wasn't to protect anything. Uh, what it's for, it was bell tower. You can hear the crows in it, ravens maybe even. I think it was maybe a raven tower and they collected eggs as well. Nesting birds. Makes sense. I could make stuff up and be a tour guide. But then we're down to here. This is more of it. Right, yeah, the tour guides come along. Oh, that's what it's called. It's the cathedral. And you can see this. I reckon they painted it and it's a sun symbol, but nobody believes me.